So, uh, Pradeep, what's your experience been like uh, being on the jury of ICMA? I think the first Content Marketing Awards jury actually threw up uh, quite a lot of surprises. I think the quality and diversity of entries was the first thing that stood out. I think uh, all of us had uh, uh, not really envisaged the wide diversity of work that is happening in this area. And to see it getting applied to a range of brands in different contexts with very specific marketing objectives uh, and it being rendered so efficiently was uh, really uh, very impressive. I think uh, uh, the uh, participants have done a really good job of you know, not just presenting the entries, but actually having done great work on the ground, and then you know presenting their case for awards basis. That so, uh, it's all in all, very encouraging. Uh, what is uh, you know DB as a group? Uh, how actively are you all involved in content marketing? Or how well, much? we take content marketing very seriously. Apart from the you know large digital business that we have, even in our own trade marketing for our print and our uh, FM radio uh, businesses, we use content marketing very effectively because we have to reach out to specific sets of audiences, both in our reader uh, community as well as in our advertisers and media agency partners. So uh, the content marketing approach really is to identify which aspects of our brand and our customer connect do we really want to expand. So whether you look at our Zid Karo Dunya Badlo campaign which went to uh, a girl child education and a social cause of you know having strong resolve, uh, to Happy Rajasthan, which is a campaign which specifically talks about uh, bringing out the salient strengths of Rajasthan as an emerging market uh, where advertisers need to pay a lot more attention. I think uh, the diversity of all our content marketing campaign really uh, leverages uh, uh, this new approach very effectively. And across medium, I mean, we use print, television, digital, uh, and social media to you know drive home the, the message in the campaign. Uh, could you speak about best branded content annual strategy as a category? Uh, in this category, we actually had uh, quite a few, uh, you know, uh, uh, entries that came out. The thing that stood out was that all brands seem to have taken content marketing very seriously as part of their annual marketing calendar and have invested not just time and effort but funds to make sure that there is some level of sustainability. I think, uh, as one of the jurors pointed out, uh, it is very important to have the core brand. Uh, strength and core brand salience uh, coming through in each and every campaign that is being done even if it may be done for a specific sub brand uh, within that uh, brand ownership and I think uh, for all the brands where we saw annual campaigns I think the thing that stood out was that they have taken the whole content marketing and content integration very seriously in terms of how they are uh, creating the marketing plan for the year and if this is the seriousness which this uh, area is getting I believe content marketing will become one of the most strategic weapons in the hands of uh, marketers as we move forward. Uh, you also want to talk about best character-led branded content? As a uh, in best character-led branded content, we actually had a lot of debates because, you know, between animation characters and movie characters and characters that were drawn from novels or uh, literature per se, I think uh, the adoption of that character to a brand uh, values and the ability to take uh, that character and relate it to the features of the brand uh, was uh, coming under a great deal of scrutiny. However, I think uh, having this category in itself is actually recognition of the fact that today a lot of uh, uh, a lot of marketing effort is emanating from recognition of uh, specific story-led ideas which are linked to brands that may not be uh, linked to characters that may not be real in terms of actual living endorsement celebrities or actual living people but maybe linked to literature or movies uh, and so on and so forth and yet there are values and uh, saliences that brands see in those uh, characters that can then apply to the brand in terms of stories that are getting integrated. So I believe that increasingly brands would look at characters as one of the ways to go back whether it's look at comic brands, animation characters, whether audiovisual or in print uh, or in terms of creating new characters uh, which could then be integrated and we saw good examples of that as well. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much.